everyone, Simus here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. As you can see, we are back on Herb Island, and there are currently no Brontos invading our base. And today, we are over here, and as you can see, I have cleared out a fairly good size area. Because what we are going to be doing is working on a lighthouse, basically. Um, I've got... I'll show you them later on, but I've got a pretty good collection of herbivores going now. And basically all we're doing is waiting for the turtles to lay enough eggs so we can go on our Bronto hunt. So in the meantime, we are just going to build some items. And the lighthouse is one of the ones that I've really wanted to do, just because I think it would be cool. And let's see, we've got these two little islands over here are basically part of the natural harbor, so I don't want to build on those. We are going to be building on the end here, just because we can, basically. So let's go ahead and start putting our base down. I have pre-made most of the materials, so it shouldn't take too, too long to just throw things up. Um, the only thing is I'm not really sure entirely how much space we're going to need. So it's going to be basically um, kind of just going by playing it by ear here. So let's go ahead and place our first foundation. I don't want to be completely in the water, do I? I don't think that I do. So we are basically going to do that. And zoom out really far so we can see what we're doing. And let's see. It is going to be a fairly large structure, so we do want some space. Um, right about, I guess there works, right? I think I want it to be more this way. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we're just going to go ahead and put this a little bit closer to the edge here. Right about there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put the base down. Uh, let's see. I've kind of estimated, but I'm not really sure, so we're just going to have to put stuff down and possibly just kind of uh, expand as we need to. Hopefully not too far. So let's see, we're going to do... I'm kind of guessing that I'm going to need about a six by six plot to do what I want to do. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and this should be six. Okay. So this is the foundation of what we're going to be working on. So let's go ahead and fill these all in. I, honestly, I don't think we're really going to need this much space. But I would rather have extras and than not enough, because I don't want to do too much uh, crafting on camera, just because I know it takes a while, and it's not especially exciting after you've seen it a couple dozen times with other things. So let's go ahead and keep filling this all in here. Now, while I'm doing this, I am going to say that I did successfully get the animals that I said I was going to. I have a new ape. Uh, I have a female elk, which is actually one of the more difficult things I've had to do off camera, simply because of uh, things killing the elk. 
But the ape actually took me about four tries to get. Oh, we are obstructed. We're going to need a couple of ceilings. That's okay. So first, let's go over here. Uh, did I bring any extra? I did not. That's okay, though. We're going to leave these here. We're going to leave the mammoth here. He's basically going to be our storage in the meantime. And we can go back over here. I did pre-make just about everything that I thought we would need for at least the bottom part of this lighthouse because I don't think we're going to do the whole thing in one video. Oh, that's a stego. I just wanted to make sure that we had it. Uh, railings. We'll take the railings and the gates, I guess. So as you can see, we'll just take a quick look over here. Uh, we do have lots of animals. Of course, it's nighttime, so I can't really show you the colors on this packy, but he's pretty awesome looking. So, new para. There's the kangaroo and our gallimimus. And the ape and turtles and our beaver who is in fact pretty awesome i've actually been using him to go back and forth between uh, the outposts across the sea there and here instead of using the raft because well the beaver is actually faster and easier to park anyway so let's go back on over here So this part's really going to be the hard part, is trying to plan out exactly where the gates are going to go. I did just estimate how many we would need, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work out, honestly. But we're going to give it a shot. So let's see, we need... One, two, so this needs to be here. Uh, let's see, I want it to be on the end. And that one needs to be on the end as well. Um, we are going to be... This style of building does kind of mess with the game collisions, so it can cause some issues with flag and whatnot, so... Uh, let's see if we can actually get it. Assuming we can actually get this to place the way that I want it to anyway. Because I want this to go across. This is really going to be the hard part, is getting things to snap the way that we want them to snap. Because we need it to snap to the fence to get it. There we go. Okay, so there's one. So, we're using the small gates for the lighthouse. And they are two sections wide and... four high, so every gate is going to need two foundations. Getting them to snap is, as you can see, a bit of an issue. So that's one, that's two, So it's a little bit tricky to get these to place because you would need them to snap to the fence foundations and as you can see they really do not want to snap to anything except the floor itself which is really really rough if you don't want it to oh oh did we have it come on okay so that's so that's two, so now we need to go straight. This is really going to be the most frustrating part, is getting these to snap. Okay, come on. You did it once before, you can do it again.
Now the reason why we're doing a kind of circle shape is because we haven't really done anything interesting with building in a while. Like the docks are pretty neat, but as far as buildings go, they're pretty simple. I wanted to take a shot at doing one of these more complex buildings that you see on some of the other cool YouTuber channels. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh. There it is. Okay. So that's that one. So as you can see the way that they're snapping, you can make a lot of interesting buildings. Thank you, lag. Like interestingly shaped buildings, just from messing with the snap points. The trick being, of course, getting the snap points to actually be snap points. Ooh, thought we had it. That one had it. I wonder if it would be easier. Nope. So as you can see, this is a bit of an exercise in frustration. So we're going to have to kind of be... Okay. So it looks like I actually almost estimated it correctly. In that we will need to go this way. Now the hard part is making sure that we do actually snap to this foundation. Come on. And you'll also notice that nothing really lines up particularly straight on this because going diagonally it's not actually the same length basically. Come on. Uh, my problem right now is that I can't see where this is supposed to be snapping to. Come on. Alright, I think if I back up a little bit and kind of move this way, maybe. So as you can see, this is really frustrating. Oh, oh, got it. All right, so that's two. Now we're gonna go back and do this side. And let's see, so we made it all the way over to here. So that's one, two. So let's go ahead and, ooh, that was nice. That means this one's probably going to argue with me. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So it looks like... Okay, so it looks like we actually have our circle completed. And I did bring my gates. Let's go ahead and put these up. These will not snap properly if you do not have them. So, let's see which way. I think I actually want to go out here and put them up this way. Let me just make sure we're actually on the foundations here. Let's go ahead and snap that on. Now, a lot of people will do this with stone, which I think does look good. Um, I just really want to do wood just to match the fact that everything else that we've done so far is in wood, basically. And on the bright side, I do actually have some extra gates. I wasn't sure how many we needed, so I did make quite a few of them. As you can see, this is actually turning out to be not as difficult as I thought it would be. So let's go ahead. Oop, wrong button. And there's that. I'm probably going to take these extra foundations up later. But for now. Two more. One. And two. OK, 
Okay, so that's actually pretty nice. So now we've got this nice big open space. And I know some of you who play with me know that I constantly complain about gate walls. This isn't even remotely the same thing. For one thing, it's not an just going around a base. And for another, we're not doing the standard design. So let's see, what we're gonna do is, I think we need to do those after, so we're gonna wait on that. So let's go back and get some more supplies here. Now hopefully I have everything that we're gonna need, because I did try to make sure that I had a lot of stuff for us to use. Let's see. So what I do want are the pillars. I think we're gonna put the gateways back for now and the foundations. And we want these. So, hold on. I wasn't sure how many I needed, so I just went ahead and made a bunch. So we need pillars, we need those. And do we need anything else? I think we'll be okay. Pillars, I have no idea how many that I'm going to need. This is basically just like a rough draft of what we're doing. So let's go ahead and go back here. Also, as a disclaimer, I may or may not actually keep this design. Uh, I haven't really decided yet. So let's go ahead and... Oops. So we want to do this. I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna need are more pillars to get this design kinda the way that I want it. But basically we're gonna have the pillars up through the middle just for a little bit of design interest. And also to kind of match with the style we've already got going with the docks. So as you can see, the pillars aren't having any trouble snapping, which is excellent. However, I clearly did not make enough because I underestimated how many we would need. Actually, if I'm being really honest, I wasn't sure if this would even work, so... Points for experimentation. Go ahead and turn the lights down. Ooh, that's better. I always forget and it gets really bright and then I wonder why. So now we're gonna go ahead and... Okay. That should be all of them. So we're gonna pick a side to work as a test. So let's see, where do we want? I think we'll use this one as our test. Okay, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, get it, okay. So it can only go up that far. But you know what? I think it'll be okay. Now what we're gonna do is... Actually, I should have used this one. We're gonna to see if we can do it with this one instead. The reason why is because that one that I was just doing is going to be the uh, entrance, so we're going to need to have room for the door there. But this one. Let's just see how this is going to end up looking. Okay, so that's not too, too bad. The pillar does look a little bit weird, but I like it. And then, did I bring... Yes, I did. So we're going to see if we can actually do this. I was kind of hoping that we could, but I wasn't expecting it. 
you can, however. Actually, I wonder. So it looks like it might actually be the railings that are obstructed. So does this work? I've seen this on videos, I just wasn't sure if it was going to work. It looks like maybe you can still get it to work. Alright, so I might have to redo that whole thing that we just did, but that's okay. But basically what I wanted to do is if I can get this to line up like that. So basically when you close the gate thing, you don't really see it, but when you open it, it's kind of like a window. A really gigantic window. Let me see if I can get these up here. So this is something that we're going to be playing around with a little bit, is just these different designs. I might end up doing like a different design on each side just so we can get a look at it. It doesn't have to be like a massively coherent thing just because, well, we're just kind of messing around a little bit. I might actually take the pillars out of a couple of these. But the other thing we are going to do is, let me just run back over here and see. I'm trying to remember what I made because I did this earlier today. I spent a couple hours just farming up a whole bunch of stuff that we could use. Uh, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. That's gonna have to do for now. Yes, I did make a very large amount of ceilings because I wasn't sure how many we would need. But it looks like we will probably be using most of them. So let's go back over here. What I am going to do is basically, we're going to just test this to see how it looks. Okay. Assuming, of course, that we can get them to snap. Oh, what's I... I want these to snap in the back. So it looks like this pillar is actually in the wrong spot anyway. Maybe. It's really, really hard to tell, honestly. So basically, these are just how you get in. These are just going to be doors. And then I'll probably just run regular walls up here. I might do like two rows of doors here. Let's put the other one up. Actually, let me just take a look. So what we do want to do is I think on this one, we're just going to put a gate. So we're going to take that down, put that up. Devs do a really good job with sound effects, if nothing else. So then you kind of open this up, you get a nice view of the ocean. Um, we're just going to go with... Let's just do two railings here, so then it's kind of like a balcony almost. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I'm not sure what else we want to do for these other ones, but... We've got a framework going a little bit. If I could, I would really like to get a torch up on there, but obviously that's not going to happen. But I think what we will do is use some wall torches. Maybe. I still haven't decided what I want to do for the major, like, lighthouse light kind of thing. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Let me see. Do I want to do... This is pretty cool as it is. Uh, maybe I'll just do that on either side. 
And then we're gonna take these out. Thankfully that did not just break everything. So maybe what we'll do is just this one and this one will be like that design and the rest of these will be other non-pillary designs. Cause this does look pretty nice. I mean, you can still get a nice view, you can see what's going on. So the gates basically act as shutters, essentially. And what else do we want to do with these? I didn't make any walls yet because I wasn't sure how the ceilings were going to work. Um, because there is going to be some collision problems going on on the roof. And I think... And the other thing with that is we are going to need to run something up to the top to be able to place the ceilings. But overall, I think so far we've got them pretty good going. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the gates on. Uh, those I'm not too concerned about messing with as far as replacements go, simply because they are pretty cheap. As far as materials, honestly, even the gateways. Ooh. Let's not fall into the shark's mouths. But I think for now, we're just gonna go ahead and put some of these down. Some of these. I might just take the pillars down off that, honestly. But let's see, so we've got the doors. Yeah, so what we'll do is, this side is going to be kind of open, I guess. Maybe. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this last gate up. Why that one decided to place backwards, I have no idea. Actually, it looks like most of them did place backwards. So I'm going to have to fix that, because that's going to look stupid. It's clearly backwards. Alright, so let's go ahead and demolish that. And that's my only thing with these, is that it's really hard to get some of these things to place the way that you want. It just doesn't always cooperate. Actually, I think... Is it the gates themselves? Yeah. Unfortunately, the gates decided not to place the way that I wanted them to place. So I'm going to actually have to rebuild this whole side of our lighthouse. Which is really unfortunate because I was really excited to get at least this whole bottom part done in one video. But clearly that's not going to happen. Uh, that's really irritating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go rebuild basically everything that we just did. I'm going to make sure everything places correctly this time. And then we'll come back and work on it some more. So uh, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Since it's not really going as planned. But I don't really want to cut this out because, well, this is just a lot of progress. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and work on it again some more tomorrow. So thank you for joining me, and I shall see you all in the next episode.